Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Westchester University. Would you all please rise and welcome the graduating class of 2019. Thank you. 
Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the commencement ceremony of the College of the Sciences and Mathematics at Westchester University. I am pleased to introduce Ms. Isabella Pazdzierski, class of 2019, graduating from the Wells School of Music, who will lead us in the singing of the Star Spangled Banner. Please rise. Pajirski. I would also like to thank the Westchester University Wells School of Music Brass Ensemble, conducted by Ms. Elizabeth R. Mahowski, Masters of Music, Class of 2019. Please be seated. Good evening and welcome honored guests, families, alumni, friends, faculty, staff, and the Westchester University graduating class of 2019. <laughs> this afternoon's ceremony recognizes graduates completing bachelor's degrees in anthropology, political science, psychology, and sociology. I want to thank everyone involved in putting together this ceremony. It has been a tremendous effort, motivated throughout by the desire of our staff and faculty to create a very special occasion for our graduates and their families. And Westchester has been celebrating this occasion for over 100 years. The class of 1919 at Westchester State Normal School faced a challenging world. Some of their classmates had been lost in the First World War, and the U.S. economy was in decline. But they looked at their time here with great affection, and they regarded their future prospects with the same optimism you do. And so now you are part of the rich tapestry of Westchester's long and glorious history. So congratulations to today's graduates. You have worked very hard to reach this day. You have learned and done so much. And all these things you learned, these skills, this knowledge, they all tell the world that you can think, and you can plan, and you can do. And the world is waiting for you. Holders of university degrees earn over half a million dollars more over a lifetime than those who do not graduate. And those degree holders lift up the economic fortunes of their families. So in a way, the destiny of your future family will be the echo of what we celebrate today. Today's accomplishment is called commencement because it is the beginning of something, the beginning of your journey and the trail that you will blaze wherever you go. The motto of the senior class of 1919 
was upward still and onward. We are proud that your journey upward and onward passed through our classrooms. Joining me in this pride today are several people I will introduce to you now. Guests at today's commencement include an esteemed group of committed Westchester University administrators, staff, alumni, and distinguished guests, including our commencement speaker today. And so I ask that all members of the platform party, administrators, and staff in attendance today to please stand and be recognized for your service. I would also like to recognize a group that has had a great deal to do with your being here tonight, and that is the faculty of Westchester University. The faculty constitutes a diverse group united by their love of teaching and their dedication to the students of Westchester University. Without them, the milestones we mark today could not have been reached. Will the faculty of the university please stand and be recognized? It is now my pleasure to introduce the Deputy Provost of Westchester University, Dr. Jeffrey Osgood. So good evening. Uh, it is my pleasure to welcome you to today's events, and I would like to let this particular class know that you are the very first students to walk across the stage, and you are the first graduates of the 2019 class. So congratulations. <laughs> So to the family, friends, faculty, staff, and most importantly, to our 2019 graduates, I welcome you all here today on behalf of Westchester University's president. Today, we celebrate more than a graduation. We celebrate a transformation. I say transformation because the person who starts a degree at Westchester and the person who finishes a degree at Westchester are never the same person. Between those two points lies a great transformation. As I look out on the class of 2019, I'm reminded of my own college transformation, which was an altogether unexpected transformation. Unexpected because I grew up in a small town where college wasn't something people really talked about or thought about or even dreamt about. In my family, no one had ever completed a college degree. I grew up in a single parent household, just my mother, my sister, and me. My mother was, and still is, someone who works on a factory floor welding. Even though my mother never earned a college degree, she was smart enough to recognize that from school, there was much to be gained. So what little money we had went into school-related things like school activities, school trips, and tutoring. To help pay for all those things, my mom would often work an 80-hour week. I still can't figure out how she could simultaneously work so hard and be such a wonderful mother. I guess she just possessed the same superhero-like abilities we often see in mothers, including, I'm sure, the mothers with us today, and an early happy Mother's Day to all of you. So the incredible transformation I experienced at college opened up possibilities for me that I never could have imagined. It led to a job I love because in that job, I get to work on making days like the today happen. Similarly, your future holds possibilities you cannot possibly imagine today that are only made possible because of today. Of course, great transformations, like the one we celebrate today, require great sacrifices. Just as my mom sacrificed so much to make college a part of my story, many with us today have sacrificed to make college a part of your story. With us today are parents who have sacrificed long hours at work to help pay the significant bills that come with college. With us today are friends and family who have sacrificed their time to offer encouragement and support, support that made today possible by getting our graduates through college days that seemed impossible. With us today are professors who have sacrificed countless hours inside and outside the classroom, helping our graduates master complex material. With us today are our celebrated graduates who sacrificed untold hours perfecting papers, preparing presentations, and prepping for exams. So many sacrifices played a part in the great transformation we celebrate today. The British Prime Minister, Winston Churchill once famously remarked, where there is great power, there is great responsibility. 
Putting a turn on that phrase, the great transformation we celebrate today comes with great responsibility. With that transformation, our graduates become part of a very special select group. In the United States, only about one-third of adults, and worldwide, only about 7% of adults have completed a college degree. You are now part of a select group that has successfully surmounted all the obstacles that stand in the way of a college degree. Yet you are surrounded by a world of people who struggle with obstacles that are seemingly insurmountable. Obstacles created by impoverishment, obstacles created by ignorance, obstacles created by indifference. There are so many people out there who could really use some help. Never forget that your transformation today places you in a special group that is especially positioned to provide that help. I hope that as part of your great transformation, you use your considerable skills and abilities to help others pursue positive pathways. Today, we celebrate a great transformation, a transformation from me, a first year student with much to learn, to graduates who have learned much, a transformation from teenagers protected from the world to adults ready to take on the world, a transformation from those who needed the sacrifice of others to those who are now able to sacrifice for others in need. Congratulations, class of 2019, on your remarkable transformation. We've enjoyed watching every minute of it, and we can't wait to see what future minutes will bring your way. Thank you, and congratulations. Thank you very much, Dr. Osgood. I am pleased now to introduce Mr. Rodney Kaplan, graduating from the College of the Sciences and Math, who will present greetings on behalf of the class of 2019. Guest, faculty, staff, and most importantly, fellow graduates. My name is Rodney Kaplan, Jr., and over the past year, I've had the distinguished honor and privilege to serve as your student body president, which has been some of the most rewarding and challenging experiences of my life, uh, but there's also the best opportunity I see for having spent my senior year here at Westchester. To be completely honest, when I was first offered the opportunity to deliver the commencement address, I was obviously filled with joy and excitement to be given such an amazing opportunity um, to address you all. That was almost immediately followed by a sense of panic and anxiety. <laughs> you all worked so hard over the past four years to have your experience culminate with this experience, and I wanted to make sure my address was worthy of such an occasion. So naturally, like any good millennial or Gen Z, I spent hours by Googling different pieces of advice on how to write a good commencement address and watching countless YouTube videos. Um, whether or not that was a productive use of time, as finals, exams, and essays started to pile up will be not only for you, but my professors to judge over the next couple of weeks. So as I sat down to write this speech, I took that great advice I got from Google and a couple close friends and came up with the following three pieces of advice to leave you all with as we begin this next exciting chapter of our lives. First, over the past year, I've been often asked to characterize the feelings, thoughts, and temperament of our student body as your representative. And what I've learned about you all during that time is that you're passionate, down to earth, and driven to serve others. Whether it be in the classroom or in our community, I know each of you have positively impacted the life of another in more than one way during your time at WCU. And for that, I wanna say thank you and encourage you to never lose your spirit to serve others. Second, thank the ones who helped you to succeed and be a positive role model for those coming after. For me, Everything I do and become in this life will be in gratitude to my parents, Rodney and Patricia Kaplan, and my family who have loved and supported me in everything I've done along the way and helped to inspire a spirit of unconditional kindness I try to leave my life by each day. And finally, never stop learning. Our journeys in education don't end here today just because we're receiving our college degrees, but rather hopefully spark a long, lifelong journey of voyage of discovery and knowledge. As students of the social sciences, we, we seek to understand how people work and why we all do the strange things we do. This foundation of curiosity and inquisitiveness will serve us well in the dynamic and rapidly changing job markets graduates are facing today. So as we turn the page on this transformative stage of life, I for one leave WCU more energized and grateful for, than ever to be saying see you later to this beautiful campus alongside such amazing and inspiring individuals. So congratulations to the class of 2019, and in the inspiring words of former presidential candidate and governor of Florida, Jeb Bush, please clap. 
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Kaplan. I'm happy to announce that today's ceremony is being photograph photographed by a professional photographer who will take pictures of the graduates as they come up to the stage and as they receive their diploma covers. These photographs will be made available to graduates, families, and friends. We ask that you refrain from taking personal pictures except from your seat. I now call on Dean Piotti to present the degree candidates. Will all baccalaureate degree candidates please rise? Deputy Provost Osgood, I am pleased to certify that the members of the class of 2019 have fulfilled all of the requirements for the degrees which the, this university awards in their particular fields of study and are recommended to you by the faculty of Westchester University. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the president of Westchester University, I hereby confer upon you the baccalaureate degrees to which you're entitled. Please be seated. I would like to call up to the stage Cadet Joseph Cusick, who in addition to graduating today has completed the requirements of the Army Reserve Officer Training Corps and will be commissioned as an officer in the United States Army. I also ask that Captain Matthew Pochak and Sergeant First Class Brian Souders of the Reserve Officer Training Corps to come forward. These cadets have volunteered in an act of selfless service to assist in the defense of our great nation. We will now publish the orders appointing them as officers. The President of the United States has reposed special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, fidelity, and abilities of Joseph Cusick, and he is, therefore, appointed to the grade of Second Lieutenant in the United States Army, effective upon completion of all mandated commissioning requirements. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for the newest officer in the United States Army as we wish him the best of the luck in the future. Will the graduates please rise? Deputy Provost Osgood, I have the honor to present these recipients of the bachelor's degrees in the College of the Sciences and Mathematics. Marshals, please escort the candidates forward to receive the symbolic presentation of their degrees. Jacqueline Ballin. Raina Maskert. Tao Trong. Bailey Safir. Rebecca Shaner. Brian Blackburn. Kimberly Wright, Kevin Miller, Caroline Lembeck, Abigail Von Roy, Diamond Abbott, Odisha Sutton. Mackenzie Holm. Daniela McWilliams. Juliana De La Portas. Brianna McGrath Meyer. Liam Pearson. Matthew Wanner. 
Julia Hess. Megan Grande. Angel Jacobella. Samantha Batter. Caitlin Marr. Jacqueline McMorgan. Whoops, I need an umbrella. Yeah, next. Rebecca Burr. Shayla Thomas. Vanessa Kathleen Clark. Magna Cum Laude. Oops. Audra Lubiak, Magna Cum Laude. Luis Pereira. Joseph O'Donnell. Megan Hall. Ellen McCauley, summa cum laude. Danielle Gansky. Lindsay McKenna. Chad Foreman. Peyton Johnson, summa cum laude. Jessica Lego, summa cum laude. Megan McDonald, cum laude. Grace O. Hensley, summa cum laude. Serena Brangman. Nayana Murphy. Sudatu Harvey. Isabel Whaler, summa cum laude. Jasmine Bonnet. Sydney Goldstein. Tarina Carter. Samantha Durisme. Ivory Scott. Amanda Walter. Jaliza Edwards. Julia Welk. Marissa Boster. Amanda Garten. Woodrow Martin, magna cum laude. Monica Alves, summa cum laude. Tyler Niccolo, cum laude. Brandon Doyle. Benjamin Kalinske, magna cum laude. Andrew Hudson, magna cum laude. Christopher Grab, summa cum laude. Shante Haley, magna cum laude. Christopher Moses. Wyatt Phoebe. Jeffrey Camp. Douglas Post, cum laude. Amadou So. Ivory Abdul Karamu. Kaylee Hall, cum laude. Colleen Kilcoin, magna cum laude. Angela Zacon, magna cum laude. Colleen Holworth, summa cum laude. Charlotte Stone, summa cum laude. Leah Tassif. Mary Jane Nelson, cum laude. Savannah Franco, magna cum laude. Kathleen Weber, magna cum laude. Hannah Donahue, magna cum laude. Rebecca Dixon, cum laude. Shay Palmer, magna cum laude. Taylor Joseph, summa cum laude. 
Alan Snyder, magna cum laude. Marissa Nadinsky, cum laude. Caitlin Haney. Devin Amon, summa cum laude. Natalie Matos. Kristen Taylor, summa cum laude. Mikkel Murph. Taylor Wilson, cum laude. Emmanuel Rothwell, Jr. Vincent Gian Julio. Joyce Bor Azar, cum laude. Jillian Higby, summa cum laude. Alexa Winkowski, summa cum laude. Kucheri Sloti, summa cum laude. Ashley Williams, summa cum laude. Mike Will Mosley, cum laude. Josiem Ramos Beltran, summa cum laude. Danielle Jowden, cum laude. Evan Bischoff. Samuel Oketar, Oak Taylor, sorry. Rodney Kaplan, summa cum laude. Tanai Spruill. Alina Ressler. Marquise Jones, cum laude. Kiana Valendez, magna cum laude. Sydney Oxen. Jessica Hagen, summa cum laude. Alexandra Donahue, summa cum laude. Erin Walsh, magna cum laude. Navy Speaker, cum laude. Michaela Gordon. Esmeralda Absarag. Natalia Mosquera. Jessica Valente. Catherine Reese. Denise Nunez, cum laude. Paige Riding, summa cum laude. Haley Ainsley, cum laude. Kylie Brofman, magna cum laude. Sabrina Isley, magna cum laude. Jacqueline Bruno. Rachel Taylor, magna cum laude. Robert Ritchie. Jessica Ressler. Thomas Kiker, cum laude. Destiny Barnett. Danielle Greger, magna cum laude. Sydney Woodruff. Tiffany Morkies, cum laude. Emily Potok, magna cum laude. Jacqueline Redman, magna cum laude. Alyssa Kovic, magna cum laude. Natalie Guarino, cum laude. Jennifer Donato. Justine Aia. Olivia King, summa cum laude. Allison Babb. Joshua Subnailer, cum laude. Andrew Bathamus. Camille Norris, magna cum laude. Matthew Magdalinktis. Kelsey Munster, summa cum laude. Catherine Luce, summa cum laude. Sophia Vanderheide, magna cum laude. Taylor Potts Gordon, magna cum laude. Savina Lawrence, summa cum laude. Victoria Marone. 
Jacqueline Sovacool. Morgan Gabell. Tasik Johnson. Samantha, Samantha Moba. Awa Sibi. Catherine Sturley, summa cum laude. Samantha Goodwin. Kira Mauger. Kelly Crooks, cum laude. Adriana Baronski. Kimberly Hetrick. Summa cum laude. Luke Kiso, summa cum laude. Jonas Ricky, summa cum laude. Thomas Lewis, summa cum laude. Amanda Indictor, cum laude. Luke Riker, cum laude. Brendan Shea, Tyler Rockman, Joelle Lopez, Cassidy Mason, magna cum laude, John Lang, magna cum laude, Julian Del Grasso, Lucas Belcard Riley. Lindsay Cerrone, magna cum laude. Nicole Drusick, summa cum laude. Gabrielle Longgreen. Jensine Rumps, summa cum laude. Kristen Laporte, cum laude. Elena Rivellini, cum laude. Matthew Ratliff, Jr. Javon Parker, magna cum laude. Fred Kamara, cum laude. Deirdre Schmidt, magna cum laude. Naomi Dickinson. Kyle Lee. Nina Mason, cum laude. Nidari Martin. Sydney Harrison, cum laude. Blake Harley. Manui Williams. Celia Winters. Jessica Reed. Amira Parks. Dana Caroli. Haley Jirainu. Tamara Good. Anissa Islam. Lodisha Taylor. Tamara Gray. Siani Jones. Mohammed Amer, Milan Chambers, Nia Cheney,
Congratulations to you all. <laughs> Now, I would like to bring back Mr. Rodney Kaplan to lead us through the tasseling ceremony. Bachelariate degree recipients, please stand. In symbolic recognition of the receiving of your academic degree, I now ask you to transfer your tassel from the right to the left side of your cap. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Kaplan. It is my pleasure to introduce the immediate past president of the Alumni Association, Mr. Matt Holliday, who will present greetings from the Alumni Association. You may all be seated. Now that your tassels have been turned, let me offer my sincere congratulations on having just become alumni of Westchester University. Each of you has majored in psychology, political science, anthropology, or sociology. The common root that those academic disciplines share is humanity. No matter how individualistic our society gets, no matter how much our faith in this world is shaken, at our cores, each and every one of us needs human interaction and connection. It's what makes us tick. In the coming months, you will all be heading out into new environments and new experiences. And depending on your plans, you may find yourself in places where you don't have many friends, family, or acquaintances. But with over 110,000 living members of our Westchester University alumni community, it is very likely that no matter where you put down roots, you will be near someone who once walked these hallowed halls. When you do meet that person, remember this moment and commit to that human connection, because golden rams need to be there for each other. And when we look after one another and foster friendships amongst our alumni base, we make this great big scary world a little bit friendlier for our future alums as well. So as you leave here today, know that our best wishes go with you and our hope that you will choose to lean into your newfound status as a member of an exclusive 110,000 person club. After all, in life, you get out what you put in. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Holliday. Today, we have honored our graduates. I know that every member of this class has enjoyed the support of some very special people in their lives. Now, I would like to offer the graduates a moment to express their appreciation to families and friends who have provided so much help along the way. Will the families of the graduates, mothers, fathers, husbands, wives, children, and loved ones, please rise so that you can receive the thanks you so richly deserve. Thus ends our spring commencement. As Dean of the College of the Sciences and Mathematics at Westchester University, I wish to extend to all the graduates and their families my heartiest congratulations. Please rise and join in singing the first verse of our alma mater. The words can be found on page two of your program. Ms. Isabella Pazjirski, class of 2019 Wells School of Music, will lead us. At the conclusion of the alma mater, Please remain standing until the platform party has recessed and join us for a brief reception at the Business and Public Management Building. <laughs> <laughs> 